The 2020 tournament, set to feature 34 games, is slated to be held between August 19 and September 26. A CPL spokesperson in an invited comment to Newsroom on Friday said CPL is looking at a number of scenarios that would allow for the tournament to go ahead in a way that is both safe and deliverable. He said, and I quote, Our plans are not yet finalized, but we are looking flat out to get to a point where we can tell our fans what we have in place. As soon as we are able to do so, we will let you know the full details. End quote. On Friday, the Trinidad Guardian reported that the tournament could be played solely in Trinidad and Tobago during the original window. The article claimed that CPL will present a proposal to the Prime Minister and his cabinet for Trinidad's consideration as host of the 8th edition. The plan, it is understood, is to have four matches per day with two games each at the Queen's Park Oval and at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. The CPL spokesperson did not confirm whether that was one of the scenarios being looked at. In April, CPL organizers had announced that the tournament can still take place as scheduled, but plans are being developed to stage it behind closed doors without overseas players or in a social distancing stadium in Barbados if required. Speaking to ESPN Crick Info, Chief Operations Officer Pete Russell said he hoped that staging the tournament as planned could be a sign that the Caribbean is open for business again once the worst effects of the pandemic have passed. To date, all six franchises have announced their Caribbean retained players and in some instances their emerging players. The remainder of the squad would be finalized at a player draft at a date to be announced. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Afanash Ramzan.